Hello guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my Total War 3 Kingdoms playthrough, playing as Suma Liang on very hard difficulty in the Eight Princes campaign. Today we are going to be continuing after getting our first vassal, Suma Mal, and also getting into a coalition with Suma A. We're now looking to vassalize Suma Chang, but it's going to be difficult, we need him to sally forth from Shang Yang and fall into our ambush in order to do so. We're not going to bother upgrading the settlement whilst we're there, so let's move on to the next turn. The celebration is in order. An arranged marriage. Our character will join their faction for 1,600. A pity, no matter. I would like to take the money, but uh, we don't need it. It looks like what I'm going to have to do here is actually attack Yang Yang. Our domain is currently focused. Is that because we have less than we can hold? We get extra income from family estates faction wide. We get extra income from diplomatic relations, extra diplomatic relations with all factions, and extra spirit alignment per turn. Oh, that's awesome. If you play very tall and under your domain extends, then you actually get even more bonuses from it towards increasing your ability to use diplomacy, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Welcome, friend. Nice. Right, we should definitely exploit this if we go to uh, requesting regular payment. We can get some money off him for this. Your terms are acceptable. That's just a non-aggression pact. And then this person up here. How much money Welcome. are they going to give us? Come in. Ten. <laughs> That's plus ten. Blimey. Request regular payment. <laughs> I don't think they have that much money. We can get quite a lot though. 253 a turn for a non-aggression pact. A reasonable offer. Don't mind if I do. Well met. We have much to discuss. Right, that's good. We're up to 2,612. From those agreements. Anyone else want a non aggression pack? No. What about military access? We could certainly sell this as well. Good to see you. Doesn't look like it's worth much though. Welcome. Ooh, friend. three point seven. We can't get any more from a regular payment, so we'll just request a normal payment. There you go. So be it. Anyone else want to pay me for military access? A welcome sight. Oh wow, we can get a lot from him. How much would 4.5 be? I mean, we can directly compare this. We already get more from the payment, so we may as well just do that. There we go. 143. A turn. We really do have to milk our diplomacy, because that's exactly what we're trying to do throughout this campaign, which is really awesome. I'm Welcome. actually really enjoying doing this. Like, focusing on diplomacy. Very cool. Let me request another big chunk of money, please. The military access. <laughs> Even though it's completely pointless. There we go. 
242 a turn, don't mind Agreeable if I do. Terms. This was the one that was Welcome. only in 0.2, Coming. wasn't it? So all of these deals, they are going to... This will be short. Uh, they're going to make it so that we get better attitude with them, and then eventually we'll hopefully be able to ask them to cooperate with us. We'll give you your tool maker back. Only minus 63. Surprised we can't offer that. I think maybe we just don't have enough stuff. All right, we're going to have to come into normal stance here and put pressure on to Zhang Yang. Maybe we could just chill here. Oh, we'll do that this turn. That's fine. We we'll probably just take the Nanyang trait Jade Mine, actually. As you wish. Are they gonna keep offering me that? Because it's gonna be quite annoying. Alright, Serma Wei. Declared war on Serma Dai. Uh, Li Chang has been succeeded by Kang Mengbao. An empire declared war on Luan Xin. A toast. You are at a feast and the celebratory libations have flowed like water. After some time, you are called upon to make a toast. There are so many things about which you could honour. Uh, we'll go for the people. We'll continue that spiritual alignment. Thank you very much. Gained another wooden ox. That's good. More people of merit to look at. Let's have a look. Sir Mayu. Mindstone and competitive. Weak, stubborn and superstitious. And this guy's unobservant, kind-hearted and fraternal. We're good. All right. Move into normal stance, and I guess what we're going to be doing this turn is attacking Zhang Yang, which is kind of annoying. I want to give him a chance to be our vassal. Maybe if I'm sieging him, the peace deal will be better. I am not in the mood. No. All right, well, guess we're wiping them out. <laughs> Sorry, my dude. The garrison is actually pretty large. And I don't think we have fire arrows, so this could be pretty rough. Maybe we siege it, actually. It might be better to siege it. Although we do have two sets of trebuchets, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult to actually break down. So we'll just siege him. And then maybe actually next turn we can offer the same deal. Oh, no siege equipment. Let's do that as well. Alright. We'll move on to the next turn. We offer peace for now. Peace for the ranger's outfit and the stone statue of Confucius. Also some money. It is tempting. It is tempting. Surely there's a reason that they're offering peace right now. Especially for less than it's worth. We'd only have to give them 4,600 to end the war. I feel like we just continue it. Because Your greed is repellent. we can probably get another vassal or force him into coalition or something like that. I don't know. We will both gain from this. Request to join coalition. Ruan Shen joins your coalition. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. Sure. Consider Welcome aboard. Produce effortless packs. Kang Ming Bao has been destroyed. Lu Yan under attack. Sir Mai Chi declared war on Mao Ren. 
Luan Shen joined the coalition. The Chowden workforce. The Chowden lodged people are those who have abandoned their rural homes and migrated to urban centres in search of a better life. Those who have moved in search of employment can therefore be relied upon to be efficient and determined workers. The new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Okay, we've got a clay warrior. I think Sir Ma Yi. He's turned up again. The same guy as before. No, I don't need both of those. Oh, I do need to go into here and uh, remove the stuff from him. I think that weapon's better than what Sir Ma Leong has by far, so we may as well be giving that to him. Remove all of those. Can I give it to him this turn? No. It's going to take a little while. Alright, good. Uh, let's continue the siege and we'll offer him peace. If he wants to take it. Oh, that guy is a vassal under Sir Malwe. Okay, interesting. We gotta keep that in mind. I am not in the mood. Call your vassals to arms. We can invite him to join our coalition. Peace. You become my vassal. Offer guarantee of autonomy? No. So we could, in fact, offer him the opportunity to join our coalition. I think I'd rather have the province. Alright. We have another reform choice pending. We need the next faction rank in order to level this up. Okay, cool. Well, the minus recruitment cost faction-wise is probably not a bad idea. Getting the upgrade on archers is nice as well. This leads on to... What's that? Repeating crossbows. This one is saber infantry. After that, we get the jade dragons and the yellow dragons. And the protectors of heaven. And the defense of earth. All right. What about down this line? That's the G infantry upgrade, Pearl Dragons, Azure Dragons. Uh, what about the crossbow upgrade? That's the heavy repeating crossbows. Where's the normal crossbows? Can we not get heavy crossbows? Hmm. What's our satisfaction like? Well, it's pretty bad on Mao Zhu here. Why is it so low? Desires higher court position. We don't have a need to give him right now. I could promote him. I think we'll do that. We have the money to do so. Um, then what we're going to do is go for that satisfaction in the in here. There we go. Only one turn until that building is complete. And if we're going to take this, then I may as well start upgrading the tool forge. Alright, let's make the attack. Or we could wait one more turn. I might give him a, one more chance. We hope this finds your approval. Uh, he would accept, he would reject. Gonna be two versus one, I assume, spirit. so they'll be in the Consider our terms. alliance as well. So Ma Mal is asking us to defend them against Bai Jin. Rejecting will result in the vassal's independence. Alright. Rational thought elevates the spirit. Let us agree terms. Sir Ma Yan. 
<laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> We're making a huge coalition to defeat barbarians, apparently. We're actually losing food? That's not good. So how's our army doing? Because we're going to need to worry about our supplies. Sima Lun declared war on the Jin Empire. Sima Qi has joined our coalition. Bai Jin uh, declared war. Sima Liang declared war on Bai Jin. Okay, that's all good. Jade Bird. Over tea, you tell your general of your dream of a jade bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the cup down and looks you in the eye. A vision of a jade bird is an auspicious prophecy. The jade indicating imperial matters and the bird being that can traverse the gap between earth and heaven. So, relationship deepens. Nice and extra experience for Sir Maleang. He's actually leveled up. Oh, his uh, tree is actually really interesting. We can go to Bravery and then Tenacity of Steel. Uh, we can go to Flexibility. So he's like a mix between all sorts of stuff. I think Flexibility is nice because of the extra replenishment. And then the Morale when attacking is nice after that. And trust is also good. So we'll go this way, I think. He's on 175 resolve already. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's make sure he has that weapon. There you go. Um, probably want to give this to this guy. And I might also give him the Wuji. Okay, all good. Um, these lot, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is we'll give them the ones that the clay warriors. And this guy can have the clay axe. Just to increase satisfaction. So we got the clay axe this turn. Yuan Digong is available. Have a look at him. Level 2 already. Arrogant, disciplinarian and sincere. He comes with the intellectual vestures which is not too bad. Alright. Uh, we're going to have to find that food somewhere. I'm probably going to have to trade someone. I could also just upgrade the land surveying office. That increases tribute in diplomacy by 2%. It's really not worth it, is it? What does this go up to? Plus 4 jurisdiction? I'm assuming that's per turn. Requirements Jade and Artisans. Alright. Well, this is income from industry. So we'd want to go towards whatever increases income from industry. Maybe the Bureau of State Mining Expeditions is not too bad. Like increasing population is not bad at all actually in this case. Upgrading the city has caused us that food shortage. Oh, we have just uh, completed the mind alignment. The next one gives us extra ammunition faction wide. Pretty nice. Some of these bonuses are fantastic. I wish you could see what they all are in advance anyway. 
Uh, what I'm going to do, though, we're going to get that food from diplomacy. So am uh, I. Welcome, friend. Transition your coalition into a military alliance. Okay. He really likes us. Uh, how much food does he have? Need like one food or two food. That's a one time payment. Two food for ten turns. Your terms are acceptable. Alright. That doesn't really cost us that much. Alright, let's talk to this guy as well while we're here. The one we're at war with. Speak quickly. Okay, it looks like he's a goner. He doesn't want to be my vassal. So let's go ahead and jump on in. After a couple turns of sieging, the walls will be annihilated on one side, so we won't have to deal with the towers. Actually, we don't have patience, so maybe not. Oh no. Yeah, this side's completely open. That's good. It's a pain that it's not the side where these towers are, but I guess this will do. Right at the bottom, you can see that I've changed a few settings since my last campaign. So now it just puts it in order of type of unit. So it's really easy for me to just like multiple select stuff. I'm just going to shift these over. We can fire through the gaps. Uh, we do actually have shield wall formation. So we can use that to absorb some missile fire as we move forwards. The rest of the units will probably have to just be on loose. Uh, we do have a couple of units of crossbows, of course. We have the trebuchets that we need to turn off fire at will. All right. Oh, they do have a trebuchet on the wall. Shit. I did not think about that. I didn't think they would be able to. I'm going to fire at the archers there. Hopefully we can get some shots in. Now we did just lose a trebuchet. Which is annoying. Hopefully we can kill the crew though up there. ASAP. Already killed a couple of them. There goes the third one. Okay, there we go. Down to the last man. Good. Right, that's dealt with. I'll just keep those at range. Get my other archers to move forwards. Uh, the ones that are on the walls we don't want to be firing at. Because that's a waste of ammunition. He's into loose formation and start running up, I think. I want to start this engagement sooner than later. I wonder if I can duel these guys. Oh, the other thing I should do is move this guy up and give the uh, ranged block chance. Okay, 
It won't last too long, but it will save some of the men. Right, neither of those want to duel, which is fine. I think they're firing at my guys in loose formation, so we'll just charge forwards now. And we'll have these pushed towards the breaches. I'm just going to make sure these crossbows are targeting the archers further back because they have the range to actually, actually attack those. Those two are out of ammunition. I'm going to shoot at the two at the breach. Then we'll have that one focus on these guys on the right hand side. So far so good. Just need to do as much damage with our range forces as we can before we actually attack. That is the idea. Really not lasting too long. I should be sallying forth, really. We're focusing on their archers first has uh, given us a, a lot of respite, which is nice. I'm probably going to charge in now. Focus down those saved militia. I'll probably come in from the other side as well. Those climb the walls. We'll have some climb the walls there as well. Just need to make sure that I'm shooting at these archers. Of late, and we'll make sure to attack their leader here. On this left hand side, I'm probably going to move over and give the range deflection. And we'll move up our leader here. Wow, guys run away. Not good. I'm not sure that quite hit the unit I wanted it to, but oh well. 
so far so good. We've used up pretty much all of our ammunition. We've got a lot of kills with our archers and so on. We're in a pretty good spot. Almost killed their leader here as well. Yeah, he's a goner. Uh, my crossbows have run about ammunition, so I can't deal with those archers. But it looks like they've used up all their ammunition as well, so that's fine. Shouldn't really be charging into the Jima militia here, but it's okay. It's going to be over soon, I think. We've already done tons of damage. I have both my leaders focus on the Sabre Militia here. And they've only got the two units in the centre. So, yeah, we're in a good position. that unit's dealt with. Good. Bit wary of moving towards these towers. I just realised I barely used my artillery. Guess we didn't even need it. I can probably move them forwards and surrender the rest of their units by using it. Rather than moving into tower range. We just fire rounds towards the spear guard and maybe the saber cab in the center. That'll probably get the job done. Need to actually hit the mark. They're gonna fire. Okay, there we go. Well, that's those two routed. <laughs> good. <laughs> nice, good hit onto the saber calf. Are we really gonna have to attack them? Come on, just run away, boys. I don't have many shots left. All of those just overshot completely. I guess I could have moved the trebuchets closer, but I was hoping I wouldn't even have to attack altogether, but I guess we're going in. Okay, brilliant. Oh, that was relatively painless, except from that little bit end, <laughs> a little bit at the end, uh, with the trebuchets there. Crossbows saved us from a lot of range fire. We barely lost any men. Maybe we get a vassalize option. I wonder, since it's their last settlement. Gained an antennary, that's nice. Attack and withdraw. Minus 23 jurisdiction. Yeah, I don't think we want that. So that's going to be that one destroyed. And we gained the land shaper. Pretty damn nice. Alright. Repair all that lot. Our food's going to be pretty damn low, but we are going to get the irrigated farms back online. So I may as well upgrade that if we're going to use it. We don't need that. We can actually demolish that. We don't need this either. We can demolish that. I 
The Somar Jin has killed in battle. All right, that's all of the stuff from that. Um, I should probably get some more food because this is only going to be three, isn't it? So we actually need another two, really. Uh, let's upgrade the land registry office. That will go to equal. Uh, assignment is ready. I think we're just going to continue with these assignments. Cool. And we'll move on to the next turn. Take this with our good wishes. So, Sima I, we can transition into a military alliance. Or we can acknowledge it. But regardless of how we vote, a majority of your allies have already declined this deal, so... A pleasing foundation to build upon. They like us more because we accepted it, but it doesn't matter that we accepted it, basically. <laughs> oh, there's two armies coming our way. Hmm. It's kind of awkward. We might lose our iron mine. What's the garrison like there? Not too bad. I'm probably going to march towards the iron mine. Can't build anything in the main settlement at the moment because we're upgrading the tool workshop. Alright, we're upgrading that. We're still going to need one more food. So let's go into diplomacy. And let's see. Anything interesting we can do? Zerma Wei would like a peace treaty. <laughs> we can't request cooperation. It may be a good idea to peace out. Who does this army coming down the river belong to? Zhu Chang. His trade partners are my way. Is that his vassal? It is. Yeah, so if we pieced out with Sir way, they would stop attacking us, I think. So that may be a good thing to do for now. Because we have Bai Jin to attack. We could peace. And I might be able to get some food out of it. That would actually not be a bad idea. Request food trade. Wow. Uh, we really couldn't get that much out of it. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Let's request a regular payment. See how much we get from a regular payment. It's around 9, isn't it? So it'll be 232 a turn. Uh, I guess we will take the food for the peace treaty. It is agreed. That way, I don't have to deal with this army, which is just going to be annoying. And we can wipe out Baijin. But what I'll probably do is take the main settlement, Jengsha, and then leave them with the farmland. And then I can give back the main settlement to them if they become a vassal. We could do it like that. It looks like they're going for our capital first, though. We gained another stone statue of Confucius. Nice. Really good once we get our cab online. Garrison's pretty decent there as well, actually.
I have so much money. It's actually ridiculous. Right, he's going to head back to his lands. We're going to go straight to Changsha then. Because he can't attack us, even if he wanted to. Even if he ambushed us with like a march stance, it wouldn't even matter. A question of character. You wander across two courtiers, locked in heated discussion. Compassion, one argues, is the most meritor meritorious virtue. Whilst the other in another insists that righteousness should drive all action. You ponder their reasoning as they look to you for your opinion. Well, I don't really want to mess around with the satisfaction, so I might just go towards neither. Intellect is the most important, of course, which gives us popular for five turns. That's extra prestige and also the Diplomatic Attitude bonus. And apparent increases because of that. Nice. You've established yourself as a worthy power. Your achievements have marked you out as one to watch. But the Summer clan is vast. You will need to progress further if you are to prove yourself a worthy contender for the Regency. Of course, if you have little time for such titles and legitimacy, you could always seek to put yourself on the throne by force. Now we can have an administrator and we can also have a chancellor. So the chancellor increases our income from peasantry and the administrator just gives stuff based on who we give it to. And we do need to choose like where we're going to put an administrator. Probably uh, Sheng Yang because we can boost industry income here quite a lot and we do have a guy set up for that like this guy he's got the extra income from commerce silk and spice but also the plus 15 percent income from industry i'm not sure what he would do probably not too much because he's only level one so i'm probably going to give it to this guy and we'll do zhang yang and then for the chancellor position We'll give that to this chap. Because it sorts out his satisfaction. Cool. Now we can do faction council. Overpopulation. Nice, that's a good one. And that would give us support from artisans, which gives us extra satisfaction for sentinels and income from industry. Good. So let's keep boosting up the income from industry here. We've got no corruption, so we can get a lot of money from doing that. Now we can continue towards Bengsha. I am tempted to push this even further for more food. I think we're going to have to do it anyway, so let's go ahead. And assignments. I'm probably just going to set this guy up for now. Uh, this guy has a lack of purpose. Let's just promote him for now. We also have the undercover network. Uh, maybe I can send off this guy be a spy. Actually not a bad idea. Who would we want to spy against though? Some away? Probably. There we go. Now he's going to be happy with us. We don't need him right now. What I'm probably going to do is just upgrade this army. Our borders are more or less secure for the time being. Everybody loves us. So 
So we can support vassal independence of this chap. Welcome, friend. Interesting. Uh, can we request food from them? Request a singular payment, maybe? I might do this after we deal with Baijin. What other stuff is there we can do? Zerma Mo and uh, Zhu Cheng. These are the guys who we just... Um, Stopped being at war with because their vassals are so my way. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was such a fail. I should have looked at the negotiate. Come in. Because we can get stuff for it. That was really dumb. Alright, well, we'll request regular payments from this guy or not. I will just request a straight up payment. Okay, there we go. 1,090. Yes. Thank we you very accept. much. I should have done that with the other guy, but messed it up. It's fine. I wonder if Bai Jin, it says he would accept a peace offer right now. We thought you dead. We take a province from him. Like Jiangsha, then I think he will automatically become our vassal. A pleasing foundation to build upon. Let's see, shall we? It's probably going to be an auto resolve on the city, I think. Come join us in our war on chaos. Uh, join war against who? Military support against the Jin Empire. Probably not a good idea right now. Your choice. Apologies, my dude. My dispatched. Action development. Buddhist selflessness. True enlightenment comes. <laughs> enlightenment. Sorry, I, I don't know why I said that so weird. Comes not only from inward focus, but also outward generosity and thoughtfulness towards others. A pure gift given with pure intentions is a pure, to a pure recipient is the very essence of generosity. A new year begins. Cool. Uh, control the capital is our next mission. The time has come. You have gained sufficient influence that you can now make your move on the capital, Luoyang. Conquest is the most direct route, but a diplomatic annexation may also be possible. You are now of sufficient rank to guarantee at least some support were you to take the Imperial capital. Doing so will greatly boost your prestige and bring you closer to victory. Okay, cool. Maybe it's worth doing that. Let's have a look at these other guys. There's Solitary Deceitful and Fulfilled. Okay, leave those be for now. I could have taken the farmland, actually. That may have been a better choice. But we'll take the settlement. And then I'll give it back. A treasure. As you proceed through the annex settlement, one of your officers brings an ornate chest before you, sealed with a heavy lock. We got the plus 500 treasury from that. Very good. Got the ancillary. Nice. Alright, if we go into this, we talk to them. Uh, peace with Bai Jin. Negotiate Get deal. This over with. Request cooperation. Oh, they'll do it without me needing to give them the territory back. But, I'm probably going to do it anyway. Because I think we're overextended. Actually, we wouldn't be. Food? Food's not really a problem either. Interesting. 
No, I still feel like we should give it back. Just because their army would be better. Also, it allows us to maybe benefit from not being over our domain size. This will be short. Uh, so we want a trade agreement. We want cooperation. We'll trade them the territory back. Jengsha. And we'll request food. No, we won't. Uh, what about regular payments? How much can we get? Not really worth it. Um, what else? Ancillaries? They don't have anything tradable. Hmm, alright. We'll take that and then we'll request the regular payment as well. All right, that'll do. Your terms are fair. Nice. We're getting a bunch of extra income because they are our vassal. But also, we get the trade agreement with them. How many trade agreements do we have now, then? We've got three trade partners. We can have four. We just need to border another person that we can trade with. A new reform choice. Awesome. Going towards market regulations? Probably not a bad idea. We are pretty low on food right now. So getting the upgrades for those buildings is... Pretty good. Uh, a lot of our food is dependent on trade, which is not what I want to do in the long run. They've leveled up. Probably going to put them in an army at some point, I think. I guess we could go along the bottom. The extra character experience. It's not actually that bad. Although getting composure is useful for a general that doesn't have composure yet. Uh, so maybe we go to precision. That's extra ranged armor pitting damage for our own army anyway. Let me go across and down if we want to. Oh, I should probably give that ancillary to Soma Liang. Six expertise, six resolve, pushes him to 196 resolve. That's pretty ridiculous. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, what we're going to do is find our next target. It's likely to be... Probably in the way... Or towards Soma Wei. I'm not sure if it will be Soma Wei himself because we'll be treacherous if we attack him too soon. But there may be other opportunities. We will see. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.